Hi, I'm Jonathan Weinberg. I wanted to do a, a um, brief update on the uh, Boston safety pin that comes from Noodlers. Um, uh, I, I have to say that I really love the ebonite material of the pen. I love the way the pen goes up and down when you open it. A lot of screwy. You know, it has this nib that comes up and down. But in my review, I talked a lot about how I kept on having a lot of skipping and the ink would go dry, etc. And my friend, the brilliant pen artist and pen reviewer, um, Mark Company, yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard to pronounce his name. Um, uh, contacted me and he said that he thought that one of the problems I might, I might be having with the pen is that when the nib goes down and you're supposed to feed ink into it that um, that you can have a problem where the ink isn't really getting into the barrel. And he knows this because he has a special version of the pen that was meant, made just for a pen show which is made with clear plastic so you can see sort of what's going on. And that makes sense because what would happen is I would use the eyedropper, I try to get the ink in it, and it wouldn't take very much ink. And then when I push the nib up, that ink would get pushed out. So the barrel really wasn't filling. Um, and uh, the way I solved that problem, and I think I suggest it to other people, is that instead of using an eyedropper, I filled it with a needle and really made sure that the ink was going into the barrel. I also changed the nib because uh, Mark said that he really didn't think that the noodler nib that came with it is much good. And then Mark had, had discovered that the Muji nib, which is very inexpensive pen, it's only $17, has a really kind of flexy nib, a really nice little nib. And I... I realized that it fits perfectly, I think perfectly, onto this pen. So with the Muji nib and the better inking, the pen is working very, very well. Let's see what I mean. Um, I mean, I had it closed for a while, and it immediately starts up. And also, this nib... That's a bit of flex. I really like it. Muji pen is around $17. I'm not wild about the Muji pen, uh, the holder itself, the barrel itself. I find it very uncomfortable. But I love the way this pen feels in the hand. So now it's much, it's much better. Um, it's still, I still feel that it has the problem that how are you to know when the pen runs out of ink. And since the whole idea, one of the advantages of this pen is supposedly you can use Indian ink in it um, because the nib is always going to be in the ink and it's not going to dry out. But of course it'll dry out if you run out of ink. So I think that is, is a disadvantage of the design. There should be, it should be made out of clear acrylic I wish I could get a hold of, of that version, or I wish Noodler would make a version of it that had some kind of ink window so you could see inside what's going on. If you did it in Ebonite but it had a window, that would be really cool because I, I love the feel of the Ebonite. So anyway, this is now a really terrific pen. It, I have no problems with it at all in terms of writing, at least with this nib that I put onto it. And I'm very pleased with it. So that's an update. Um, and uh, I hope it helps people.